What are your thoughts when you see, you know, some of the woke stuff that now is front and center for, you know, military members sitting and watching these ridiculous videos about pronouns and all this stuff? What are your thoughts on that? It's, it's absolutely infuriating. You know, I wish I could run for president and I would change it all, you know, because the, the men and women who serve with their life. Listen, this this is not a it's not a social experiment. It's not a game. The people who are in the military are going to defend this country with their lives. And, and, and I would argue that they are going to destroy other people's lives to make sure we are free and safe. And that's all we should be worried about. The baddest, most competent people in the United States of America that can go overseas and defend here on the home turf with their lives and be proficient, I would argue, killing machines. That's all I want. I want people out there that are the baddest people in America serving in our military. I don't, I don't want somebody who don't know if they're a man or a woman who got a beard and want to wear a dress. Get your silly self out of the military. You, you go and, and, and do something different. We don't need to be talking about pronouns. We need to be talking about how do you take these people, this threat out the most effective way possible? How do you handle a firearm? How do you jump out of plane? How do you drop bombs? I don't want to hear nothing about, you know, transgender bathrooms. Do that stuff in some in some liberal facility. There's no place in the United States military for that crap. And there's no place for, for this feminism movement either. Men and women are, are different. You cannot try to force women to do the same thing that men are doing in the military. They don't have the lung capacity, muscle density, all of these all of these things that men have that God has made us with. Quit trying to make us compete. Mm -hmm. We need the baddest jokers out there. And if you cannot qualify at this high level, you can't be a participant. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You, you know, this is the way our country works, because when you look at these other countries, look at China, look at Russia. You know, you look at these people, they got killing machines. Mm -hmm. their, their commercials to join the military is, is the young people who have this drive in their heart to be heroes and, 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 you know, to be these grandiose type people. They are the ones joining the military in Russia. We got, you know, dudes weren't with that claim that dudes with tampons mm -hmm. talking about they want to be in the military because they want to be on a desk and, and do their hand like this all day. Mm -hmm. I, I can't stand it. And, you know, I may be a little extreme for some people because I, I would you know, people may say I'm, I have toxic masculinity, but I live in a time where I come from warriors. I don't come from little wimpish cowards that, that's sitting around whining all day. I come from warriors. Mm -hmm. I was watching a documentary just, just last night. Me and my wife was watching. It's an incredible documentary if you haven't seen it. It's called 11 Minutes. And I'll never forget this guy on it. It is about the, the Vegas shooting. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget. It's, it's crazy because the, they give it from a police perspective. And you're going to cry. You, your, your husband's going to cry, too. It, it is an amazing documentary. But, however, there's a one guy in there. He's on a SWAT team. He's going to take out the, the, the guy in Vegas up in the, uh, in the hotel. His son is at another location and his son is calling him, dad, they're shooting, can you save us? His son ended up at another hotel. He said, dad, I think the shooter's in here. This is what the dad says. He's on a SWAT team. He's literally walking down the hall, getting ready to, 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 to try to confront and kill the, the shooter. And he talked to his son on the phone. He said, son, it's time to man up. If that dude comes in that hotel, it ain't no running. <laughs> wow. He said, you need to take, you need to kill him. Mm -hmm. And you, you, if you're going to die, you're going to die on your on your feet. You're not going to die on your knees. This is what he's telling his son in, 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 a, in a real life threat situation where people are dying everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is the, these are the type of men that we need in the military. These are the type of men that we need in society. We need warrior spirit type people. And I know I got I got off on a tangent, but it, it, it eats away at me mm -hmm. when I look at people in the military and colonels and transgender. And it, it's just it, I cannot stand it. I, I cannot stand it. If you want to watch the full episode, you're going to click right here. And if you want to ask me a question one on one, you want to do a one on one FaceTime with a group of your friends, whatever you want, you need to download Minect right now. Click right here and let's get talking.